Last year, in 2022, one random company appeared out of nowhere and decided to take the fight to Apple, to become the next iPhone, or at least, to finally be someone who can compete. People got curious, articles and videos about the nothing phone started emerging, but that was about it. The hype appears to be officially over now, so what did really happen with this entire drama? Let's take a look at how nothing tried to take down Apple. Right now, we live in a world where your smartphone is either an iPhone or an Android. There are many iPhone models and even more Android devices. And it seems like nothing can change that. Literally nothing. Nothing is a company founded by the co-founder of OnePlus named Carl Pei in 2020, in the UK after he left OnePlus. And there is already a physical store in London, so they're growing. And the company had really bold claims since the beginning. They wanted to become the next iPhone. So Nothing wanted to create a phone that directly competes with Apple. They looked at all the things people love about iPhone and decided to focus on those areas. Nothing clearly wants to be considered to be the iPhone alternative. The thought is that Androids aren't really innovating that much, iPhone is the golden standard and a status symbol, so nothing wanted to challenge them. If you think about it, iPhones are not only phones, they're also design accessories. The design and brand image plays a very important role. Androids, on the other hand, focus mostly on having the best specs and price. People buying them don't appreciate the simplicity or nice details that Apple offers. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that Apple focuses on completely different things than Android producers, and it seems that Carl wanted to use Apple's weapons against them. He created his own version of every good aspect and attribute that Apple does right. The design was just an example, but let's begin with this. The Nothing Phone is really similar to iPhone in many ways. Same placement of the volume buttons, the power button, the similar shape, camera layout. It's apparently good and it works, so Nothing has designed their phone similarly. But as you probably know, I talk a lot about iPhones being easily recognizable in the public. It's one of the awesome things that Apple does right, so Nothing also created their really unique look on the back. I think that they did a good job in this department, although when you see the LED lights for a quick second, you may think that it's a Wish.com version of the iPhone, but the LEDs are special unlike anything you've seen before, and from this point on, you just instantly know that this is the Nothing phone. The LED lights on the back are kind of gimmick, more on that later, but the transparent backside with the LEDs is not only there to make the phone look different, but also to make you decide what you think about it. A lot of times with Apple, it's the love-hate point of view. People either love it or hate it. And I'd argue that the quirky design is supposed to serve the same purpose. It's supposed to be polarizing, forcing you to decide if you're with it or against it iPhones are notorious for the hype around them. Everyone talks about the next one, what is expected, what's not, there are rumors, speculations, and so on. And there are multiple ways how Apple manages to create hype about their upcoming flagship. One of the ways is to slowly reveal the details to the public eye. Rumors about the iPhone are slowly leaking, Apple also hides some kind of messages in their keynote invites, and nothing does something similar. They didn't go all out about the device, but slowly kept on revealing information about the device. They gradually tweeted about the Nothing phone, or for example, MKBHD made one video about the Nothing phone where he was not allowed to talk about anything else other than the backside of the phone because of the embargo from the company. Which I find to be really interesting and a bit weird. But in terms of the hype, I think that it kinda works. Also, iPhone runs on their own operating system, and Nothing created their own one too, called, unsurprisingly, the Nothing OS. So another similarity here. Apple promises their users 5 years of software updates, it's literally iconic for Apple, while the Nothing phone promises 3 years of software updates and 5 years of security updates. 
Of course, less support than Apple provides, but the focus is there. The attention to details is really crucial in Apple's strategy. From emojis to volume slider, you can see that Apple added something to areas where they didn't really have to. Same thing for nothing. Their custom looking font for home screen widgets or the even bezels around the display. The thing is that many Android smartphones need to have a chin at the bottom of the display because the panel has to be connected somehow to the phone's internals. In order to achieve this, the screen has to be flexible on the nothing phone and literally bent under itself to allow for even bezels around the display. It's one of the things that cost them money and they didn't really have to do this, but they did. All of this plus an extraordinary price tag of $399 GBP or $450 respectively, which is mind-blowing for what the Nothing Phone apparently offers. Okay, this all sounds like an instant success, right? So why do we still have iPhones? Of course, all of this sounds good on paper, but I'd say that the company is just not there yet. There are some problems with this device. Although the LEDs on the backside of the phone are kind of nice, they're also a gimmick in my opinion. Like, they have some features, for example, you can set different light patterns to show up for different people calling you, but why remembering the light patterns when you can just look at the screen and see who's calling? Same thing for the LED battery status indicator. Well, it gives you the information on how much your phone is charged, but again, the screen shows you clearly the exact percentage of the charge. Plus, you need to constantly make the effort to place the phone face down on the table, because if not, the entire feature becomes useless. As one person on YouTube commented, the phone is interesting, but we need to actually see if it's a good phone or not. It's not enough to just be interesting. One more thing about the lights, well, is it just me, or the shape of the lights kind of resembles the look of the Apple logo? I don't know, maybe I'm just always looking at Apple devices, so I can see it everywhere now. I told you about the price already, but it's not all sunshines and rainbows. Carl, the CEO, once said that their current profit margins are pretty much zero. Yes, they're a startup company, so it's probably okay, but they're not making money with a nothing phone yet. So most likely, they won't be able to sustain the good price of the phone. Their profit margins could go up, caused by better deals from suppliers, but I personally believe that higher prices are just inevitable. But considering the fact that, that the company pays a lot of attention to the fact that, that they're offering so much for such a good price, I don't think it's really that good for their future. The thing about the profit margins was shared with us in a YouTube video published by the Nothing's official YouTube channel. And it's not something that we're used to. Yes, companies have their respective YouTube channels, but Nothing has a very personal and open one. It's literally run by the CEO and there's, for example, an iPhone 14 Pro review uploaded to the channel that reached 2.7 million views. Just imagine Tim Cook making a review of the Galaxy Note, I mean, it's just unthinkable. I have to admit though that it's a pretty good strategy for the company. They're visible and it's a new thing, so people notice it, they talk about it. Also, the video is not about dissing the iPhone as a competitor. Carl is pretty honest and open about everything. He literally said good things about the iPhone, said that he's been a fan of Apple, and people appreciate it, commenting that no other CEO would be so open and honest. Even buying their phone solely for their transparent way of running the company seems like an idea. Carl also denied copying Apple, basically saying that he doesn't like that the nothing phone gets compared to the iPhone, but yeah, it's clear what he's doing. I also mentioned that they have their custom operating system, the Nothing OS. I mean, yes, that's correct, but it's really just an Android. It literally says that it's powered by Android, but it also behaves like the stock version of Android. It looks a bit different, they added their own tweaks and widgets and font, but it still has the Google Play Store and it's not anything that new. 
All apps look really similar, except for the voice recorder that has been customized for some reason. And all of this means just one thing. It's not a better competitor to Apple than any other Android smartphone is. The nothing company behaves as if no other Android devices existed and want to distract you from comparing to other Androids, but the nothing phone does not really offer the same thing that Apple does. They don't have FaceTime, AirDrop, iMessage, Ecosystem, iCloud, or their respective nothing alternative. For the reasons discussed, it appears that it's a real threat to Apple, but it's not really the case. Apple is so many years ahead in the game. They've been developing their ecosystem for years, for decades even. Which of course doesn't mean that nobody can overtake them, but it's going to take some time for a new company to get to this level. As of right now, it's a very nice alternative to Android with a very affordable price tag. But nothing plans on releasing a flagship device too that will almost surely be more expensive and that one, with much more improvement in the software, may very easily become a threat to Apple in the future. It's also not their first product, nothing ear, headphones are here too, so we'll see where the company is headed. They've accomplished a lot in a very short time, so I'm only excited about what they have in store for us.